Hey everybody, how's it going today? Welcome back, this is Chris again. Or if you've never seen this program, my name is Chris. And this is the ANOVA Advantage where we go over a lot of things OBD2 and almost everything car related. Um, I wanna thank everyone for joining us today. Yeah, you know, today's episode, we're just gonna go over a few things. We like to talk about our offline mode where I like to talk about the offline mode today. Now, offline mode doesn't apply for the handhelds. The reason why is simple because since these have a display screen, you don't need to use the free RS2 app. The RS2 app that works with all our tools, by the way, is free. It is optional. However, with the dongle, which doesn't have a display screen, you need to have the app on your smartphone or tablet so you can see the codes. Now, we're going over today, it's more of a, not a feature, but more of a predicament if you're in, it could be features, it's offline mode. So if you're, don't have an internet access, Wi-Fi, you're on an airplane mode, you're, you're in a place where you lose reception, um, you're you know, traveling, whatever it may be, you don't, you don't want your Wi-Fi turned on, you're right. you can actually still use the RS2 app to scan things. For example, let me look at this camera. On my phone here, on my phone here, on anova.com, I-N-N-O-V-A.com, you can see this article as well. It's offline mode, it just describes it, but basically it shows you, for example, it will tell you when you're in offline mode, and again, this only applies for the dongle. If you're, I mean, the app works for the handhelds too, but in offline mode, obviously you have a display screen, it will still read all your information here. Just, the app won't provide the fixed information. Now, as you can see, in our article, we have a dongle, this tool hooked up. It's an area, there's no service, it's, I have it in airplane mode, just to show you. And then if you go down, after it finds the scan tool, the dongle, once it pairs, since there's no online connection, it gives you a brief description. Basically, you can get ECM, PCM, TCM scanning and live data still, so the essentials, but all the advanced features, the 430 has like ABS, SRS, won't be supported when you have that offline connection. Um, but the other, the most important thing about this app, if you're using the handhelds or the dongles, is the fact that it provides fixed information. You won't get that fixed information, predicted maintenance, um, technical service bulletins, recalls, uh, warranty costs, things like that if you're not connected to the internet. You can actually schedule repairs through RepairPal, and you can go to Amazon and other retailers to look at replacement parts um, that are related to the fix for your vehicle. However, if it's offline, you won't have access to that until you're back online. But if you don't care about that stuff and you just need it for codes and you can get your live data, your codes for check engine and transmission related codes, so limp mode codes, misfire codes, EVAB codes, codes of that nature. But hey, this is what you're missing out though if you're offline. Let me show you this. This is our handy dandy report that basically you can text it Email to yourself, email to anyone else, text it to yourself, email, text anyone, print it out, however you want. But when you're online and, and you scan, you get all this information, the check engine information when you're offline mode. You're not gonna get the replacement part information because it doesn't have access to the iCloud to get that stuff on the internet. But you still get the codes and the description, but not the fix information. You still get your monitor information, but let's go back you still get your freeze frame information here, which is similar to live data, but you won't have your warranty status, TSB recalls, that's only for online mode. But the biggest thing, again, the app is free, if you're, you know, and if you're using the handhelds, you don't need to use it at all, but with the dongle, you need to use this. So, yeah, this feature is really awesome. I mean, especially if you're going to the mechanic, obviously, the mechanic, could, there could be other issues wrong with your car that are mechanical, but this is a good thing to print out and take down to your repair shop so they have a starting point or if you're limited on money, or you can just tell them, hey, I just, this is all I want done at this time. So this is cool. And it prints out on all types of shades of paper and card stock. <laughs> okay, so again, let's go back and look at the offline mode. Again, like I said, it will do the ECM, PCM transmission codes, and those are essential codes. I know, obviously, you need to read your brake codes, too. You don't want to be driving with bad brakes, but you could feel that yourself. <laughs> But as you go in here in this on our article, you can have rate us as well and say if you like it. But also, if you're having, if you're chat, you're stuck, hit our live chat and you can go talk to our chat. Primarily English, but we also have a Spanish um, 
option as well. So there you go. You can go to innova.com. That is innova.com and go to our, our support page and just click in any keyword you want. We'll go back to this again. Just do offline mode. This is a quick way to get to it. Again, if you're looking for any other help, for any other type of question you have, look at our search bar, just type it in. But there you go, back to offline mode. So if you want to look at that in more detail. So. And that's that, just that. Again, just for the dongle, our handheld tool, you need, the app works for both these tools, the handheld and the dongle. But again, you need it for the dongle since you can't see anything on this. I mean, there's no display screen, as you can see. I try to look for codes in here. And so it is app dependent. And this one doesn't need the app, but the app does provide the fixed information still. So the 1000 though, now, the other thing though, the 1000 is 100 bucks, it's a lot smaller, easier to fit around. It doesn't have a cable like this. They both power on through the accessory fuses, both the handheld and dongle. You never need to charge these. Um, some of our upper end handhelds, they take batteries, but that's only usually for o needed for OBD-1 vehicles, if you have OBD-1 adapters that we sell. Um, but this thing's typically 100, both these are 100. This is obviously more, even though this has more features, they're the same price because this obviously has a display screen. There's more material into it. But this thing right here does everything that 5210 does, check engine, ABS, live data, but also this does SRS, TPMS, brake pad life if it supports your vehicle, oil life, oil level status, um, oil life status and oil level. It also does the TPMS, I think I said that, does a full module scan where you can scan your HVAC, your door actuators, your suspension, all that, you can do them at once, or you can go individually and scan them. Transmission, PCM, ABS, SR, same as the others. You can do, um, and yeah, and then it has the TP, in the live data as well, and, and it has your drive cycle procedure. This 5210 actually has drive cycle procedures in there to help you with pending codes. The dongle doesn't. But for the price, I'd rather go with this dongle. You can leave it plugged into your OBD2 port if you want. The only time is if you leave the ignition on is when it starts gets power from the accessory fuses, but obviously if you leave your ignition on too long, sometimes we've had customers leave it on for an hour while they're doing their work. That's not the tool doing it. Just remember, if you're working on your car and you leave your ignition on too long, it could drain the battery. But again, these tools, you can leave them plugged in because they power on through the vehicle's 10 to 15 amp accessory fuses. This tool also has real TPMS relearning procedures on it. It's a new feature they added as well. When the offline mode came, so did the TPMS learn for procedures. It doesn't do it with the dongle. It actually gives you the procedures for your vehicle on how to do it there. And it will also do a battery reset for you. So that's that. And then you get these beautiful reports. Let's go over the mill lights, the Meek Mills. Mill stands for malfunction indicator lamp. Um, the powertrain malfunction light, it usually looks like this. This kind of looks like a TPMS light as well. Um, but this is specifically the powertrain malfunction light because there could be one that's like an engine that's your check engine or service soon light. But this will illuminate when the engine management system detects a fault. A fault is simply a trouble code, a, some, a confirmed code that requires shutdown of an engine as well as immediate insistence by a professional technician. Now this is, is not that common. This is a very bad issue uh, going on with your PCM. You do not want to drive this vehicle when you got that going on. You want to Get it to your nearest, get it home right away if you can, or tow it to your nearest mechanic. Yeah, it's with trucks and four-wheel drives. That's that's for sure. It's not common with your sedans as much. But yeah, that's that. So we got the airbag light. I mean, it's showing a seatbelt with a bubble, or it's probably the airbag. Hopefully, that doesn't happen a lot. I've had that happen to me, getting hit in the face with an airbag, getting in the wreck. So. Yeah, it's not bubble gum, or it's not the, it's the car blowing bubble gum at him, right? Uh. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, this is, indicates something's wrong with your supplemental restraint system. That's your SRS. I mean, different, it could be labeled a lot of different things, like your safety sensor or, sen I mean, there's so many different names for the airbag, um, seatbelt, but usually it's SRS, a standard supplemental restraint system. But yeah, this is something wrong with your seatbelts or airbag, or it could be the module. You comment it's a clock spring or um, one thing I like to mention, if you were in an accident and it deployed the airbags, our code, coders will read those codes, but for some of them, they may not clear them. For those, you may need um, 
did a dealership tool because for those it's a safety requirement thing. Now, this will stay illuminated and we recommend, uh, well, it just depends. I mean, if you got a scanner like the 5610, you can look at SRS live data to figure out if it's really that much of an issue. That's the real cool thing with live data. This one has check engine live data. So that's more check engine if you like, let's say your engine coolant, temp, your car is overheating, but you're, you're close to your house and you don't have money to tow it or you just think you can make it home. You can monitor live data, look at your temperature, suppose, preferably have someone in the car while you're driving. That way they can watch the temperature rise so you can try to drive it home. But again, if it's too risky, don't do it. Same thing with this, SRS live data with the 5610, not this model, not the dongle either, but you can monitor SRS live data um, while you're driving. You know, it could tell you um, different things that are going on. But usually, uh, if you, this, you, you'd probably be safe to drive home. You need to have your seatbelt, but depending how far you are from your house. I won't throw that anymore. But that's the one where the, it's blowing bubble gum. Now this one, brake service warning light. Sometime you get the ESP, ESP light on, that doesn't mean your vehicle's talking Spanish either. Or you get your VSP, or your, your skid controls, not skid marks, or you get your, yeah, not, yeah. Yeah, or traction control. Um, I mean, this is, a, this, but this one's a brake service warning light. It could be due to the fact that you need a parking brake adjustment, maybe the spring's broken, you have worn brake pads or hydraulic issues. For most, only mostly newer vehicles, only like 2016, 17 and newer, especially Europeans, this dongle can read brake pad light. You can do, do a whole system scan. It will let you know your tire pressure, but you also let you know oil level, oil life status, but it will let you know if your brake pad, if it's good or bad or percentage wise, and then you can, you can tell by then. So, I mean, if you get this, this light on, when you hit the pedal, I mean, it could be hydraulic loss. You could be that, Usually your AB, it could be some bleeding needs to be done, but so ABS light doesn't come on when you have spongy brakes usually. Um, but it does when you have low brake fluid and that could be bad uh, for the master, master cylinder. So that is that one. So there you go, the exclamation point. But yeah, now this is the traction control. I know I mentioned in the last one, it's, it's a different light. The traction control, skid mark control, or skid control, I mean, sorry, instability light. Um, they are related in a way, but this one back again is more EPB, electronic parking brake. So yeah, this means your TSC or ESC um, warning light turns on and stays on, meaning that's your traction control light. Um, again, your ESP as well. And it probably means safety related issues. So if this comes on, again, d depending the weather, where you're located, it's up to you. Typically we recommend always for safety reasons to have it towed, but depending on how far you are and weather conditions, or if you're on a steep grade or going down a steep grade, that will ultimately depend on you. Uh, but yeah, if you're in the mountains or somewhere where it's raining, snowing, and you got this, you don't want to drive. Last but not least is for the Vin Diesel or diesel vehicles. Um, the worm. This is, looks like a coil or it's like what, a figure eight on its side, that's infinity. No. Um, a hip hop song, but anyways, that is your coil plug, all as it shows. But this is the diesel coil plugs active, so this is only for the diesel vehicles. It comes on when the engine's glow plugs are still warming up, and your engine should not be started until the light goes out. Um, this flashes when you start the engine, there's an issue that's been detected, and, and your glow plug may have worn out or multiple. So that's that for your glow plugs, not glow sticks for your ravers out there, glow plugs. Hey, that would do it all today, folks. I mean, hopefully we got a lot of folks watching today. Um, we're back here next Tuesday. We also on TikTok on Thursday and that's our big crowd and we do some crazy, crazy things there. You gotta tune in to see the crazy things that go on there. So that's gonna do it all. So thanks again for joining us today. But hey, that's gonna do it all today.